All right, guys, welcome back. This is the fourth installment of my Illustrator CC tutorial on how to illustrate or vectorize a car. In today's tutorial, we're going to be covering the kidney grills on this BMW. We will also be using different blending modes to achieve a certain sense of photorealism and layering. So to start today's project, we're going to create a new layer and we're going to name this grill. And then we're just going to turn off layers that we don't need to see. And a good rule of thumb is to just always keep all of the layers that you're not working on locked. The last thing you want to do is start drawing on the wrong layer and get lost within your own project. So now that we have this main shape drawn, I'm going to turn it off and start drawing a sh another path directly on top that will represent the highlight on top of this grill on the passenger side of the car. And we'll use the eyedropper or eye on your keyboard to select a light gray area. And again, you can change these colors later. It's just for reference. So now let's draw the inner shape or the dark part of this grill. And then we're going to go over to the layers palette and pull that shape down underneath the highlights and on top of that first path we drew. Now we'll turn those both on, select them both, and we'll come over to the Pathfinder dialog box and click minus front. Now we have one solid shape or path for this passenger side of the uh, kidney grill. Now we're going to move over to the other side and do the exact same thing. So when I get to the end of this shape, I don't have a way to manipulate its, the curve of the line. So what I'm going to do is I'm, I'm going to go up to the pen, I'm going to select the pen tool and I'm with this plus sign and I'm going to just click and that'll give me a new anchor point. And I can take the direct selection tool, or actually now I'm going to take the uh, delete anchor point tool and get rid of that point we made to close the shape. Now with the direct selection tool, or A on your keyboard, I can come in and manipulate the curvature of this line so that it's not such a hard point on the edge. I mean, there's no hard 90 degree point on this grill pattern. Everything is kind of an oval curved curved line. So just like on the other side, I'm going to select both of these shapes, use the minus front feature on the Pathfinder dialog box, and now we have our driver side shape. So just like the other side, we will draw the highlights for this side. Mimic the same colors using the eyedropper tool. And they're both very similar shapes. Great. So this shape looks a little weird. So I, I'm going to come in here and adjust it. Now it's so small that it probably won't be noticed, especially for something like Instagram. But if the client is eventually going to say, blow this up and turn this into a big banner for their garage, um, then you want it to be, you want it to be perfect. So now I'm going to come in here and draw a loose path over this because we will just drag it down to the bottom and that'll represent the dark black in the very back. Cool. Now that both of those are drawn, let's turn everything off and see how it looks. Not bad, but still it's hard to see the plastic pieces. So let's come in and uh, adjust the colors to whichever you like. Same with the highlights. Let's make those a little brighter. That's looking better. Yeah, I like that. Okay, so next up, it's just a little extra added detail like I was talking about before. If the client wants to print this and have it be a big banner, say 10 feet, 20 feet, then they're gonna notice little details like this. 
which is another layer of highlights and shadows and it's this weird kind of purple color that's picking up and the reflections of the blue of this car so see that purple color that's back there that's the color that we want to capture here and it just adds another layer of depth and detail okay that's looking good turn off a couple of these layers and now let's draw these red bars that are behind the grill it shouldn't be too difficult just two easy little shapes but we are going to assign a gradient to this shape and we'll do that by having the shape selected and you can choose color gradient or none so we'll select the box in the center for gradient So now I'm just going to come up to the gradient dialog box and select different colors for the outside, dark reds, and then a little bit of a brighter red for the inside. And then we'll just drag the gradient tool across, and then we'll do uh, the same thing for this shape over here. Use the gradient tool to get the angle right. All right, that doesn't look bad but it also doesn't look great. So, yeah, because it just looks like two weird red bars right now. So we need to add the little fins on top of those red bars. We'll just outline the first shape here. So this, this first path will be kind of the darker color of the, of the fin. Cool, that matches that shape. Let's just adjust that so that it mimics it a little more realistic. Great, now let's assign these two paths a dark gray. Awesome. Yep, and I drag that over there to make sure that it's the same as the, as the next, pa uh, next fin, if you will. So now let's just draw two more paths on top of these that we just drew and then these will be the highlights on the top of these fins on the grill. Okay, once those two shapes are drawn and uh, we assign them the right colors, we're going to take this larger piece here, select both shapes that you drew, and you're going to hold down Option and click and drag on a Mac or Alt and click and drag on a PC to copy the same shape over and over again. So alt click or option click and drag and release. And then we're gonna do the same thing over here on the driver side. We're gonna speed things up, move things around. Now let's get these two red fins. Great, so bright red color and an even brighter red for the highlights. Awesome. Zoom out. And that's looking pretty good. Now we'll turn on those two red bars that we drew a minute ago. And that looks good, but it could look better. So what can we do to make these look better? I know. We'll draw another shape. And we'll kind of layer this on top of the red bar, but behind everything else. So once that shape is drawn, we're going to change the blending mode in the transparency dialog box to soft light. And then we'll drag it underneath all of those fin pieces we just copied over. Now that's looking a lot more realistic than the passenger side. It's still a little dark, so I'll change the transparency to 60%. And I really like the way that looks. It really looks like it's kind of set back behind those fins on the grill. And these, these colors look a little weird. So let's make them really bright and then make the highlight almost like a pink. Yeah. That way it'll match kind of the same tone as the, uh, as the rest of the highlights. So we'll do that same effect over here on the passenger side. 
draw our shape. Now we'll take our eyedropper tool or eye on your keyboard and click the last shape you just drew and it picks up the soft light blending mode and the 60% opacity automatically. And there you have it. I think it looks fantastic. Using those blending modes really helps. I don't use it all the time, but in this scenario, it really helped be able to push those red bars a little bit further back and not be so prevalent in the, in the front of the design. So in the next tutorial, we're going to cover the lower grill and the fog lights. I really wanted to try to do all of the grill in one tutorial, but as you can see, we're already at 11 minutes and I don't want to make a 20 minute tutorial and bore you guys. Plus, there's different tricks in that tutorial than in this tutorial. So stay tuned. If you're interested in more Illustrator CC tutorials and other car related nonsense, consider subscribing to the channel. If you like this video, please consider giving me a big thumbs up. It really does help. And I will catch you guys in the next one.